civil rights campaigner and broadcaster Darkus Howe has died peacefully in his sleep at the age of 74. He campaigned for black rights for more than 50 years and led the 1981 Black People's March after the New Cross fire in which 13 black teenagers died. News of Howe's death at his home in Stratham on Saturday was announced by his biographer, Robin Bunce, and confirmed by his wife, Leelu Hassan. A statement from his family said Darkus died quietly and unexpectedly in his sleep on the evening of Saturday, April 1. Our private grief is inseparable from our public pride. The father of six was originally from Trinidad where he was born on February 26, 1943 in the dying days of the British Empire. The son of a vicar and school teacher, he moved to the UK in 1961 to study law. He joined the British Black Panthers, established in solidarity with the more well-known American organization. Howe came to public attention in 1970 as a member of the Mangrove Nine who marched on Notting Hill Police Station to protest against a raid on the local Mangrove restaurant. The restaurant was a hub of black culture and was raided a dozen times by the Metropolitan Police resulting in pitched battles between the officers and protesters. Howe and eight others, dubbed the Mangrove Nine, were charged with riot, affray and assault before his eventual acquittal. The group successfully challenged racism in the police during a trial at the Old Bailey in the early 1970s. Howe, who lived in Brixton for more than 30 years, edited the magazine Race Today and was once chairman of the Notting Hill Carnival. In 2009, Howe wrote in The Guardian about being diagnosed with prostate cancer. Long live the NHS, he said. The campaign to persuade black men to get tested for prostate cancer starts here. Labour MP for Hackney Diane Abbott tweeted so sad to hear that Darkus Howe has passed away. One of the standout activists and public intellectuals of his generation. Howe began appearing on television in the 1980s when he presented shows for the BBC and Channel 4. He explored the idea of Englishness in a controversial 2003 documentary series called White Tribe. Helen Hayes' Northern Mariana Islands for Dulwich and West Norwood, wrote on Twitter sad to hear of the passing of Darkus Howe, great loss to Brixton and to the cause of equality and human rights R.I.P. And Emma assented, a filmmaker, wrote me R.I.P. Darkus Howe. British Black Panther and a pioneer in the fight for equality in UK I enjoyed our last talk immensely and learned much. Labour Deputy Leader John M. C. Donnell said sad to hear Darkus Howe has died. He was a courageous campaigner against injustice and for equality and civil liberties over decades. Biographer Dr. Bunce told the BBC he took on the Metropolitan Police the Home Office and Special Branch in a 55-day trial as one of the Mangrove Nine, he said. Taking on the police in the 70s at a time of enormous police racism and police corruption was an incredibly courageous thing to do. And not only was he able to win his own freedom, but he was able to expose police racism and force the first official acknowledgement of institutional racism in the United Kingdom as a result of that case. MP John M. C. Donnell wrote on Twitter sad to hear Darkus Howe has died. He was a courageous campaigner against injustice and for equality and civil liberties over decades. George Galloway tweeted Darkus Howe R.I.P fighter against racism and imperialism, civil rights champion, great leader of black peoples around the world. Actor Adel Ray wrote sad to hear about the passing of Darkus Howe. Unimportant voices many of us were growing up. Prisoner Jun Sarpong wrote R.I.P. Darkus Howe a great broadcaster and visionary who used his platform to highlight social issues and ignite much-needed conversations.